In this video, I'm going to cover some of the technical mechanics around one of the relics in Smite, Blink. I'll explain how to blink while mid-auto attack animation, and I'll also showcase some one-shot builds you can try and other interactions that you should probably know about. One of the first things you should know is that many gods have abilities with pre-fire animations that complete before they deal damage, like Persephone's second ability. If you are out of combat, you can fire these abilities and then blink before any damage is even dealt. This tech gives you more possibilities for mechanical outplay or surprise attacks, and later on in the vid, you'll see the majority of the one-shot builds that I showcase use this tech. The other thing you should know is that you can blink while in the pre-fire animation for auto attacks, which can help you set up a hit with the hardest hitting attack in your attack chain. This applies to all gods and will be particularly useful by ones with high scaling attack chains such as Neja. Another interesting use of this is with Wheelish, where she can prep the second hit of her chain to get the AoE damage on her second ability, Feather Step, more instantaneously after blinking. The blink tech that's probably the most well-known but hardest to pull off is with Hercules. His second ability, Earthbreaker, can knock up enemies towards him, but it has a small window where he can blink before it makes contact with the enemy. If you're fast enough, you can flick your camera 180 degrees and blink, causing your target to fly way further to your new location. If you want to try this, it's doable with your relics on normal casting mode, but changing to quick or instant cast will make it easier. But that's not the only god that can do this. Bastet's ultimate ability also can abuse this tech, simply by firing it off and then blinking before the projectile hits an enemy. Another blink mechanic works on gods like Odin or Ra. Odin's second ability, Raven Shout, deals bonus damage if the shield is full health when it explodes. Popping your two and waiting until it's about to explode before blinking on the enemy can help guarantee the bonus damage. With Ra, his second ability also has a long wind-up time, and it's easily reacted to, so try doing the same thing with him to pull off a surprise flashbang attack. Alright, now on to the one-shot builds. All of these, excluding the Ishtar one, use the pre-fire animation blink tech that I discussed earlier on in the video. For the Clips of Mages, the builds are relatively cookie cutter, relying on Staff of Mirden, Polynomicon, Gem of Focus, Sacrificial Shroud, and or Rata Tahuti. Feel free to slow down the video to get a clearer understanding as to what buttons I'm pressing and when, and enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Is this